A man came into my job and tried to rob me. Good, everybody. Lockout man back again with another trucker reaction video. And in today's video, we're going to be reacting to this so called robbery up in Rockford Subway. Now, somebody, I, uh, you know, I. I First, I like to say thank you to everybody that's that's coming on and watching the show and supporting the show. I'm right here in Missouri somewhere, man. Somebody help me out. I I just I'm right next door to the Waffle House. Somebody help me out and let me know what's the allure of the Waffle House. The Waffle House, their food is so greasy, man. I'm not feeling their food at all. Not at all. I mean, that and the Huddle House, They're, especially the Huddle House, the sausages taste like Brillo pads. If you guys feel me on that, let me know in the comments below. Just just let me know. But right now, we about to, we, we about to get into it. Bam, right here. All right, so right here, it says a robbery attempt at a local restaurant foil. It was the Subway restaurant by the way it says we was just told the subway in the 1100 block of east state has suspended this female employee because of the incident it is still developing now key word here is robbery foil so if you was to read this and you saw that subway suspended this young lady and you would be like man why did they do that after she just foiled the robbery but I do have the video, and the video is suspect, okay? So let me finish reading the article. Let me finish reading the article. All right, sources, sources are reporting a robbery attempt at a local Subway restaurant that went wrong for the would-be robber. Sources stated that shortly after 10 30 this morning, a man with a handgun attempted to rob the subway located at 1120 East State Street in Rockford. Sources also say, stated that employee employees fought with the man brandishing the firearm and was able to take his gun away and thwart his robbery attempt. Bomb drop for that. All right, bomb drop. RPD hasn't released any information on this incident yet. And if and when they do, we will update. Police call logs do list the incident occurring at this time, at this location, as a in-progress person life safety. And that police did request medical to this location after arrival now you guys would think that this girl did a heroic thing she was able to fight off the would-be robber she was able to get the man's gun she was able to thwart the robbery that was in progress probably but i don't know about y'all but after watching the video several times it just don't look right. A man came into my job and tried to rob me.
Okay, so let's break this video down, right? Now, you would think that this might be a robbery in progress, right? But it looks to me as a lover's quarrel going wrong. Help me out here. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. Let me know. I, 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 I need to know if I'm right or wrong in the comments below. Let me know. This just don't look like a robbery. I mean, the cash register over at the front. Well, first thing first, let me let me bring it back. Number one, it is 1030 in the morning. So she just opened up the store. And at that time in the morning, you're not going to have that much in the register. Right. Maybe about a hundred dollars at the most. This is a subway. In the morning, you don't need that much money to, to operate the business. You know, a couple of tens, maybe 120, about about 51s and about a couple of fives and, and, uh, and uh, about $20 in change to make change. So if somebody was to come in to rob this place at 10 o'clock in the morning, wouldn't you, the worker, just give them the money? There you go. All right, cool. Thank you. And then call the police. This right here just don't look right to me. This look like a lover's quarrel gone wrong. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Like right here in the back, right? Right in the back. Right? They, it was too much conversation going on for a robbery. It was it, it was like yo move leave me alone go maybe that's her maybe that's her boyfriend that just dropped her off at work and they probably had an argument in the car that spilled over into the store right So it's, it just sounds like a lover's quarrel right there. So when they actually got into the tussle right here, it, it, it just don't look like a robbery style tussle. Because after which he dropped the gun, whether it was a play gun or not, he dropped the gun and when he dropped the gun, the girl ran over to pick up the gun and still was standoffish. So the gun, I'm not sure if you guys could see it. Maybe I can. So the gun is right there, as you guys could see. He's not in a hurry to get the gun. She backed up and then got in and, and just casually picked up the gun. See? See how she just casually picked up the gun? It wasn't like her life was threatened as she was picking up the gun. And he was giving her, he was like, here, here's your purse. I don't know, man. Just, just, just don't feel right. And then she hit him with the gun. I don't know, fellas. I, I don't know. I, I don't know, fellas. I, I just don't know. This, this just don't look right to me. I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. 
All right, but um, this just don't look right to me. Now, I know some people are going to be like, well, why she was in there working by herself? You know, a lot of comments that came through, why she's working by herself, why she was there by herself. Well, you can open up the restaurant by yourself. I mean, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I mean, I've worked in restaurants where it was a single person that opened up and then the other person just came in. But just... Just don't feel right. This is this looks to me as a lover's quarrel that that kind of spilled into the store, and then she decided because I guess she I, I guess I'm going to get in trouble, so I got to make it look like it was a robbery. Okay, no problem. I I got to make it look like it's a robbery, so that's what I got to do. I got to make it look like it's a robbery. So she called the cops, you know, got the videotape and everybody is everybody. I, I guess everybody's not dissecting it like I am, because what everybody see is a quote unquote would be robber getting thwarted by this female. And she turns out to be the hero, which is which is cool, which is cool. But as I'm looking at it. With, with 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 a different perspective i just think that it's 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 not a robbery i don't think it's a robbery but you know according to the news and her story it is so subway suspended this young lady they you know so I, it, now, if this was a real robbery, you wouldn't wouldn't you would just give the money and then, you know, say, hey, here, take what you need. You want some food? Take that. Take the money and all like that. Just leave the store and bam, bam, boom. I don't think Subway would have suspended her for for that. Right. But I, I guess whoever reviewed the tape kind of got the same idea as me. Like, hmm. This, you know, let me just just put her on ice for a minute until I figure out what really went on. But while she suspended her mom's while she suspended her mom's started a GoFundMe. God damn it, man. Who knew? Who knew? Help my daughter after she was suspended. 13 K 13 K. You mean tell me, hold up now, hold up now, hold up now. You mean to tell me all I got to do is start a GoFundMe? Come on, I, that's all I got to do is start a go. Man, look, I, I need to, I, I'm in the wrong business. I'm in the wrong business, man. Yo, I'm going to start a GoFundMe to help my YouTube page. I, I, I want to I wanna stop driving and I want to do YouTube full time. So you guys help me out because I'm about to make a GoFundMe for that. You know what I'm about to do? I am going to do that. I, I'm going to do a social experiment on GoFundMe to see if you guys will support me on my journey to be a YouTube journalist. Take a snapshot. <laughs> 13K, man. She has about 500 donors so far, uh, about 1.4K shares. Uh, right here, it says, my name is Sylvia. Don't know your last name. And over the weekend, my daughter was robbed while working alone. And she fought, she fought him off and he only took her purse. Nothing from the store was stolen. Her manager has now suspended her from work leaving her without a job and after she defended the store my daughter has my daughter now has a broken phone no id no debit card no purse and he refused to compensate her for anything edit the money is now being used towards an attorney and lost wages so a man came into my job and tried to rob me.
again, I wow. I, I'm I'm still stuck on the 13k that you guys gave this little lady so far. I mean, it's cool if it if it really is what happened happened, then yeah, deservingly so, deservingly so. Okay, but I I don't know as I'm just looking at this from a different perspective. I just think it's a I, I think it's a lover's quarrel that just went wrong. You know, and besides, if it's some, if 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 it was more money than what it was in the in the in the register, the money in the in the safe will be up under combination lock, and I don't think it would. I don't think she would be able to open it. Now, well, I take that back. I uh, stop. I take that back. If she happens to open the store. That money, I mean, that morning, that yeah, she would need access to the safe. And it don't look like she gave him access to the safe. It don't look like. It don't look like that. So with everybody over here saying, oh, well, she shouldn't have been alone. She shouldn't have this. She shouldn't have that. I'm thinking what she should have did if it was a robbery in progress she should have just gave the money, whatever money that is in the register, and gave him whatever you want, food or anything like that, you know, just uh, just give it to him and he'll bounce. This is about 10 o'clock in the morning, and I really don't think you're going to have that much money in the subway. Help me out, people. I, I might be wrong on this one, but if I'm not, just go back and look at the video for yourself and dissect it for yourself and let me know what you think in the comments below all right all right that's gonna do it i really do appreciate it if you guys like this video leave a like it really helps the channel a lot it does what it's supposed to do and it works that's what it does. I really appreciate all you guys' support. I really appreciate you watching and listening. If you're listening while driving, you know, that's a better thing to do. I'm just saying, yo, follow me on TikTok and on Instagram. And make sure you subscribe for more videos like this on YouTube. All right. Until next time, everybody, let me know what you think about this video right here i might be wrong but if i'm not just let me know all right until next time i'll talk to you later peace a man came into my job and tried to rob me